Broadcasting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, you're listening to the Low Glow MMA Boxing Podcast. So I put, how old <laughs> I are you in that? I saw that. So I was probably like, I don't know, 13, 14 maybe. <laughs> it's crazy. How old that one? I was probably like 16. Because I got a little more tattoos in. <laughs> you getting tatted up when you were young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. You can see you little... Young, oh my god, how old is he in that one? <laughs> Same by <body> 16. <laughs> how do you feel about seeing him this young? <laughs> I remember when he walked in the gym, he was a quiet little kid. I don't know what the heck happened. <laughs> <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you become a loudmouth then, man? Uh, huh? A loudmouth the gym, man. It brings it out of you. No, you were shy, man. You were so shy when you first came in. <laughs> Man, you know, the gym, they talk so much crap yeah. all the time. You just better stick up or take it. I didn't want to take it too long. You know, and the only other black guy that we had in at the time was our coach. Yeah, yeah. We had a coach that was actually Austin's first coach. Right? Because, they were, you know, the guy was black. And, yeah. But he was a great coach and a great guy. They, you know, he, he saw that Austin may, may be a little intimidated, yeah. you know, because, it, you know. I had to pick him up. Like, yeah, you know, he was yeah. God man out at that time, you know. And they, not that they treated him bad, just, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and they, I've never felt you know, any different. They have me as a team, but all, I got to hear all the jokes. Yeah. You know, um, all the racial jokes that they just could not wait to try out. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we all were a big happy fan. Yeah. You know, especially like... That's how I got to do <laughs> you know, Sam DePace, Rick Boss, the took these guys all around yeah. on my trips and they became really close with everybody. Yeah. And you know, there was never any, any animosity or any reasons or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, and we, yeah, we all, you know, we all loved each other, man. It was great. So how was the relationship with you and CJ? Was it just... The- Actually, we, uh, we met, like, our sophomore year in high school, maybe. Really? And CJ, because, you know, he's a freaking, pretty much just a... Desert kid, you know. Yeah. He was his his whole family was out in the desert. And they did all kinds of stuff outside, and you know, lifting railroad tracks, stuff stuff like that. And in high school, he they had some boxing matches in the locker room for football, mm. and he was beating everybody up. Yeah. One of our mutual friends was like, "Bitch, can't beat up my boy Austin. He's a boxer." <laughs> and CG is the type of person you tell him you can't do it, he's gonna do it. And so he came. He's like, "Hey, I heard you box. I want to box you." <laughs> Just like that. That's how he talks. Hey, I heard you want to. Bo- I heard you box. I want to box you. I was like, all right, well, we can box. So we ended up sparring. I beat the hell out of him. He's because you know he was bigger. He's yeah. a football player. He's like, dang, boxing does that to you. It gives you that skills like that. I want to box. <laughs> Came to the gym. You know, we've been best friends ever since. That's cool, man. So you guys are. Uh...